Teddy, something special right now is really going on in Major League Baseball. And it might not be the great special that you're looking for when you find, you know, the love of your life or you get that good present. You say, boy, that's really special. Chris Davis, 0 for 53 now at the plate. And I bring this up only because it's a really interesting watch because of the statistical anomaly that's taking place in this. You know, still yesterday, made some hard contact on a couple balls, wasn't able to get the base hit. But an 0 for 53 nonetheless. And the one question I have for you, Teddy, is at the bottom, we talk about on the ticker, the combination of the Orioles being a really bad team, owing a ton of money to Davis, allows them to stay out there. Because if we had Chris Davis on, let's just say, the Phillies, the Yankees, or any big-name team, this guy would already be part and parcel to say, hey, look, take three weeks off and just get your act together before you come back. But the Orioles not really going anywhere saying, hey, let's see how this thing plays out. Yeah, exactly. Work it out, kid. You'll be fine. (laughs) Just keep swinging. So for this season, he's only 0 for 32 with 16 strikeouts. You know, that's not too bad, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is the chance we get to make fun of someone. And look, I'm making fun of a very rich man. Chris Davis will have more money in his pocket right now than you and I will ever have combined, Donnie. <laughs> you know, we're not signing $150 million deals. But when you sign one of those deals, you got to produce. And when you go 0 for 53, I mean, some of it's bad luck. Some of it's bad hitting. And yeah. Uh, the fact that he's getting booed every night. And you know they're going to be ranting him like crazy in Boston all weekend long. I mean, I hope for his sake he finally gets a hit. You know, but then again, one for 54 doesn't do all that much for me either. 